A little bit on the sloppy side, would you say tonight? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. We, uh, our kicking game is a mess right now, and it's it's because we're trying new people. We're trying to solidify those teams. Uh, we're allowing people to try to earn their way back onto the bus, so to speak, and, and of course we'll narrow those things down uh, next week as well. Too many times on the ground, too many penalties, you know, and, and uh, we probably took a step back on our concentration today. Uh, but, you know, again, you, you watch a film, some good, some bad, you know. Clearly, we've got, I think, some good running backs. Uh, I think I think our top two quarterbacks will be okay. Uh, defensively, we've got to stop the run a little bit better. Uh, we did come up with some turnovers, though, which is good. And, you know, we're going to have to f further uh, uh, narrow what we have ready for the game. Most of the game is pretty crisp. Uh, you know, some good numbers. You know. Well, I think there's just a couple. Yeah, the answer is yes. Um, the one thing that was crazy, and you may not have realized it, but we had that touch, that first touchdown. You know, it was kind of between he, he and the defense had jumped off sides, and we'd worked on that play where, where Fletch snaps it, and we just have a free play, and he throws it up. And we had it in another situation, didn't do it, and we did it tonight, and we executed it. So that's what Ryan gives you. He's got great football instincts, great football sense, and the team rallies around him. And I thought John did a nice job of rallying tonight as well. Uh, early, early on, he was he was a little uh, sluggish, but he got into it. And both of them, you can see, are pretty athletic. And we're gonna have to utilize their legs to help us. Yeah, Jonathan showed his legs off the game. Yeah, yeah he, he's he's got that, and you know, I, I feel comfortable with either one of them in the game. I really do, and and uh, I think Ryan's a little bit ahead. Uh, but uh, but it's nice in the type of offense we run, which is a little high risk to have two guys that you can go to. Do you have anything in the package that you can throw Jonathan in in certain situations or anything like that? With Ryan? Um, not right now. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't, but if you notice Nick Lasala playing some wide receiver, so he may fill that role as a quarterback playing another position type deal as well. He's a great athlete, and I'm really excited for him that we found some place to get him on the field because his we really had a good athlete to quarterback, which I love. Mm -hmm. uh, but now he's getting on the field as a receiver, and he's going to help us there a lot, too. Um, so Ryan, uh, Ryan Stark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about the running back position? Did the Singleton work his way into well, number one? I, you know, we've been trying. He's been nicked up. And uh, and one of the things that Jeremy has to do is, is uh, you know, it's a physical position, and he's learned to play with pain. And I thought he did much better. He's, he didn't run as high tonight. I thought he finished blocks. I thought uh, Chaps did a good job of finishing runs. And, uh, you know, Cole Mazza, uh, I like what I see out of him. And he's one of those guys that can play. He and Yonkers can both play fullback or tailback. You notice down here we went big and had both the fullbacks in the game. And I think uh, both are good pass catchers. Both are good runners. So, uh, yeah, we want to definitely utilize those guys. Anybody surprise you tonight or like winner position like we talked about? Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't know that. Uh, you know, Robbie Robertson, number eight. You know, he has some quickness to him. He's got to learn what we're doing offensively. You know, Lucas Phillips did some nice things offensively. Defensively, you know, while Alex Gonzalez had a had a deal over here, he's a physical kid, and, and he's trying to get himself on the bus. And the hit was illegal, but you know, he's in there hitting people, and and that's a good thing. You know. Our defensive line, we got to shore up just a little bit, but uh, overall, Donald Payne, I thought, played well tonight. He's playing a lot of different positions. I think in the back end, you know, we've got to find a way to create pressure without having to play. And uh, that, when you're young, sometimes that's hard to do. And so we're, we're trying to find that combination of, uh, of playing base and then coming after a little bit. But Brian, you know, Brian, I thought, again, Played pretty close to the best defensively tonight. Again, simply trying to get some evaluation out of the positions. You started this thing at 700 and something days. Now you're down to six, five, four. Yeah. What's the what's the feeling? Uh, every emotion you can imagine. I mean, it was kind of fun to be down in the stadium tonight. And, and boy, I know our kids wanted to play tonight. Um, I, you know, all those things. Part of me is sitting there going, "We got a lot to cover. Clearly, we got to clean up a lot of mistakes tonight." Um, but by the same standpoint, there, there's some readiness there, and I think our kids, we're all anxious to kind of see where we're at. And, and when you're playing yourselves, you don't know. And so uh, so when you play people, you, your weaknesses get exposed, and, and it gives us a chance to fix what we need to fix. How do you prepare this week for an opponent that you know nothing about? <laughs> well, you, you try not to chase ghosts, and you, and you try to make sure that you can execute. Maybe you have to, you have to reduce a game plan. The practice against a three-man front, a four-man front, you know, a three-three stack, 
got to practice a lot against against a lot of different things, and then understand, and the kids understand, in the first quarter maybe total adjustment. We, we may be feeling out what they're doing until halftime, and then figure that out. And, and the nice thing is, I think our kids, given we're a startup, and you know, going back to the first day of reporting, we couldn't use showers, and we had to adjust, and we couldn't do this, we had to we had to adjust tonight. They've done some great things resiliency wise, and so I I don't see that being a factor. If if we come out, we. we Putter along a little bit on both sides of the ball. I think they'll bounce back. They've shown great resiliency to do that. Can I call you tomorrow to see talk a little bit more about?